So I got myself a PowerBook 180. Um, yeah. <sighs> um, you see what's wrong here? You see all this? All this right here? Yeah. That happens gradually over time. I'm not exactly sure why. I think it has something to do with either the LCD being bad, or possibly needing capacitors of some kind. Um, but this is pretty much what I have going on here. Uh, I'm doing a 755 update because when I got it, the hard drive, which miraculously still works, uh, only came with 753. And I happen to have, from a recent haul just yesterday, along with a whole bunch of other floppies, 7.55 update on actual Apple floppies. So... I just happen to be uh, doing that since, hey, I actually have that. Let me go do that right now. And then it's starting to gradually get worse. So I thought I'd do a video of it before something really bad happens, I guess. You can just see how bad it's getting. And it's still creeping towards the middle, ever so slightly. So, I'm going to get the 755 update done, and then call it a day with this. Maybe. I do have a screen from my original PowerBook 180 I got back in 06. It hasn't been turned on in a while. In fact, I'm probably going to have to open it up and check the caps around the screen, if there are any. I think they might be leaky at this point, but it may serve to replace that screen, uh, well, this screen with that screen. We shall see. So, yeah, just a quick video to show uh, one of the fun things I got in the haul. Other things I got, I will make videos about later. Uh, but one of them includes another Mac clone. There's just a little sneak peek for you. Uh, to put this one in. Yes, Master, I shall do as you command. Hard to do that one-handed. Optimizing system for speed. More speed! Alright, goodbye. Okay. And this is it, starting up Mac OS. Although I can't see it. I'm going to see if I can bring you about this Mac up. 